Hello everyone, welcome back. And no, the thumbnail is not clickbait. We are going to be making some two simple, easy, few ingredient, gluten-free, dairy-free box cake mix recipes. We are gonna be using Betty Crocker's Devil's Food and Yellow Cake Mixes. We're going to be, now I find these recipes online and I have modified them to be gluten and dairy free. Now, with that being said, Betty Crocker recipes are not in a certified dairy free facility. Though the ingredients on the box for the golden one is icing sugar, sugar, rice flour, potato starch, canola oil, baking powder, salt, and xanthan gum. And for the chocolate one, it's icing sugar, sugar, rice flour, potato starch, cocoa, tapioca starch, canola oil, salt, baking powder, baking soda, and xanthan gum. So very simple, basic ingredients. So shout out to Devil's Food or Betty Crocker for keeping it simple. So this allows people that are gluten and dairy free to be able to have these box cake mix recipes and enjoy them. And if you aren't a avid baker in the kitchen, then this, are, these are so simple. You have to go out and make these. You will absolutely love them. They are so delicious and so simple. So yeah, let's get to it. Hi, I'm Deborah. that's me. Welcome back, where I share simple things in my island life on the east coast of Canada. If this is something you enjoy, come along with me. Our first recipe is going to be whoopie pies. We're going to be using Betty Crocker's gluten-free devil's food chocolate boxed cake mix. We're gonna start off by having a glass bowl, opening up our cake mix, pouring it into the bowl, and we're going to be adding two eggs and three quarters of a cup of an olive oil or you could add some shortening or a stick of vegan butter. You can use whatever modifications necessary to kind of meet your tastes or whatever you happen to have in your pantry. So once we have added all the ingredients, we're then going to take a spoon and mix it all together until well combined. Now would also be a good time to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. We are going to be baking these for about 10 minutes. So we're going to take this mixture once it's all combined and we're gonna roll in our hands a balls about the size of a quarter, maybe a loony. We're gonna roll them out and place them on our cookie sheet. Now, one thing I forgot to do that I took the cookies back out and do after I show you I put them in the oven is you have to make sure, especially using gluten-free, that you press them down or else they'll just bake as little round balls. So you have to press them down. I would use a flat surface. I had tried using a pan with a fork and anyway, that didn't work out. You'll see later in the video how that turns out. So I just use the splat of an end of a phone or my fingers and you press the cookies um, down flat as possible and they're going to bake beautifully in the oven um, as needed to be able to fill them with cream and make our whoopie pies. Super simple recipe. I will also make sure that I write out the recipe in the description box down below. Now it may not be out when I upload this video so please be patient with me because it does take time to write everything out into the description box, but I will do that. And I also try and link the original recipe. Um, all of the recipes that I make are either my own or there'll be something I've modified to kind of make my own and make them gluten and dairy free. So yeah, I'm really happy to share these with you today. They're absolutely awesome. And three simple ingredients. Doesn't get much easier than that. So here they are coming out of the oven all baked to perfection and here are the ones that we did before with just the fork marks and we didn't press them down enough so they're not going to they're a little too thick they've got the fork marks not perfect to make great whoopie pies now for the filling we're going to be taking a half or about four ounces of softened dairy-free cream cheese here I am using the diet cream cheese you're also going to be adding a cup and a half to cup 
or as much as you see fit to make your filling really nice and thick as well as three quarters or a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So we're gonna combine this really well until nice and thick and then we're going to be spreading this in between our cookies and making some whoopie pies. One great thing about these Bok Cakes recipes is they are super simple. If you don't have really great baking skills but you want to enjoy a gluten or dairy free sweet treat or something that you can bring to a party or share with friends or even have for your family, then these recipes are for you. Super simple, few ingredients, I, I think you're going to absolutely love them and let me know in the comments down below um, how you make it with them. Recipe number two, we are going to be making some bake glazed donuts. Now, I have a glaze recipe for a chocolate glaze, a vanilla glaze, and a maple glaze, and I will also try and include this recipe and all of the glazes and recipes in the description box down below. Like I said, if they're not first there when I post the video, I will have them up as soon as possible. So we're going to take the yellow, gluten-free Betty Crocker cake mix, we're going to be putting it in a bowl, adding about three quarters of a cup of an olive oil or avocado oil or just a light tasting oil. And we're going to uh, combine this really well. We're also going to be adding three quarters of a cup of a plant-based milk. And once you've combined everything, you are going to then get out your donut pan we're going to line with a little bit of an oil so that our donuts don't stick to the pan i'm using a little bit of olive oil i just pour a little bit in a crevasse use my silicone spreader and spread it around to all of the vessels super simple and yeah then we're going to move on to trying to fill these donut holes we're going to um, get a glass and get a plastic bag or a piping bag if you have one we're gonna put our dough into the piping bag we're gonna take it out we're gonna put a tiny little corner cut a tiny little corner into the edge of the piping bag and we're gonna swirl it around into the um, donut pan now this will make exactly a dozen donuts and I go around seven times in total. One, two, three. Now you may just see six, but I do end up adding one. So you go around, this kind of will give you a gauge of how much you should add to each donut space, is I do seven times around. And then we're going to be baking in a preheated oven at 350 for 12 minutes. Um, yeah, so 12 minutes is the sweet spot for my oven, but you can gauge 10 to 12 it. 12, 10 to 12 minutes depending on how hot your oven is so yeah I, I, again another really super simple recipe and I know you're gonna love these so um yeah now we're gonna move on and we're going to be placing our donuts into our preheated oven and take a look how they come out nice and golden and yummy and another thing is um, after I like shake them and flatten them down so that they're gonna bake evenly. When you take your donuts out of the oven after they've been fully baked, you wanna make them, let them sit and cool for at least 10 minutes. Because if it's not for at least 10 minutes, when you flip them over, even if they easily fall out of the pan, they'll be super warm and really crumbly and you don't want to have to start all over. So I highly recommend that you follow this step and let your donuts cool at least 10 minutes before you flip them into your pan. And then we're gonna move on to making our glazes. So for our glazes, you're gonna add, I'm just gonna be making the vanilla and the chocolate glaze today, um, but the maple glaze is also a very similar recipe. So for the vanilla glaze, we're gonna take three quarters of a cup of powdered sugar, one to two tablespoons of milk. I don't even think I add that much, so I would probably err on adding a few drops at first and only adding extra at the end if it's too thick. 
because then you'll just end up with a lot of glaze and you don't want it to go to waste. So you're adding also a teaspoon of vanilla and optional for the vanilla icing as well is if you decide you want to add food coloring and uh, give it a color. Schnazz it up, especially if you happen to be making it for a special occasion or for some kiddos or grandkids. Um, yeah, food coloring is an option. So then we're going to be mixing our chocolate gaze, which is again, three quarters of a cup of powdered sugar, two tablespoons of cocoa, half a teaspoon of vanilla, and again, one to two tablespoons of milk. But I suggest to definitely use the milk sparingly and only add a few drops and add a couple more if necessary. Now for the maple glaze, I'll tell you what it is. It is three quarters of a cup of powdered sugar, a little bit of milk, two tablespoons of maple syrup, and three quarters of a teaspoon of vanilla will make you a maple glaze. And all of these ingredients are very simple, very basic, and you know, not, you know, almost something everyone has in their pantry shelf. So really, really easy to put all of these together. If you happen to have a last minute to get together and you have a box mix in your cupboard, boom, voila two fabulous recipes. So once our donuts have cooled for about an hour um, or more even overnight if you want, you're going to take them and dip them in your vanilla glaze as you see here and then leave them. Now as you can see also underneath I had put a piece of parchment paper under the racks where you put your glazed donuts so that any of the excess icing will drip down and will be easy, easy cleanup. Um, will make for really easy cleanup and not having to wipe up all this extra icing and sprinkles that you may get all over your counter. So then we're gonna move on and we're gonna glaze our chocolate donuts. Now I did this, I double dipped these. I dipped them once and let them all sit for a few minutes and then I dipped them in the chocolate glaze again so that the glaze would be nice and thick. I saw that they were a little transparent after one coat. So I uh, dipped these chocolate donuts twice and I also did end up um, sprinkling them with some chocolate sprinkles, but for some reason that little piece of video that I had was corrupted, but you're gonna get to see them all at the end and how they all look. And there we have it, voila! Whoopie pies and baked glazed donuts. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoy my content and these videos. I will include a couple of videos you can watch and binge till my next upload. So thank you everyone for joining me today. It's always a pleasure hanging out. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.